Hi, Hi we're Clean Bandit. Bandit. And this is a little film about the making of our album, New Eyes. Yeah, New Eyes. Um, it's actually pronounced Nuai, and it's, <laughs> it's a place in the south of France we've been going to stay at kind of every year for the last few years, last well, probably about seven years, and just wrote that track, New Eyes, there. New Eyes is um, a song that has Jack singing on it. What Jack is singing about is quite personal, and um, we actually decided to call the album after, after the song. Management, I think it was them that just called it New Eyes because it couldn't pronounce it. It was like N O U A I double L E S. I thought it would be a nice kind of way of rounding off the album, calling it New Eye. It just became known as New Eyes, and we found that quite funny, but it was actually supposed to be New Eye. It's really nice to have completed the album. Um, Listening back to the mastered tracks, knowing that I can't do any more work on it, makes them just sound so much, so much better. And to play play them all live as well, it's just it's really fun. It's probably a kind of uh, hodgepodge of different kind of songs, different styles, different moods, with the kind of running theme of live strings, cello and violin, string quartet related stuff and electronic drums and bass. Mozart's House is quite an old track. We wrote it about five years ago and, and recorded it then as well. Got the instrumental together and then sent it to Segwa, Love Sega, and he wrote the, the top line. What we're trying to do is kind of an experimental type of thing and then just pushing the boundaries. So it's, it's pretty cool that you can get to this this stage and all of us, none of us, we didn't, we weren't pushed in one way. We didn't think, oh, we want to be. They wanted to have the music sound like what was hot or what was going on. So, um, and I think you can kind of tell all the little nuances in the music. So, I'm excited to hear the, the album. Funnily enough, the first time Hugh Stevens, when he picked up um, Mozart's house, I was doing stuff on here. So it was actually on Radio One, and I was by myself here in Cambridge playing with these lasers. So that was bizarre. That was bizarre seeing. Uh, it go on blogs and this and that with no no backing, no label, no nothing, you know, it was just something I had written in my room and then suddenly it's on the radio. So, so yeah, Rather Be was great to have a number one. It was kind of quite a shock. We made it uh, last year and performed it at a lot of festivals before we kind of met Jess Lynn and, and thought that it would be a good idea to record it together with her. Yeah, we, we hoped it would do well, but never on that scale. I first heard about Clean Bandit through um, Black Butter when they released their uh, EP. Um, and through that, um, I signed my publishing with Black Butter and they kind of put us together and introduced us and it kind of all kicked from there really. The process of recording the song was really easy, like guys are such great people to work with and um, it was so much fun and the song just turned out like the best it could have been. The way we come up with video ideas kind of differs on track by track basis, like some of the songs um, we're kind of thinking of the ideas or even shooting alongside making up the music. The song UK Shanty, we actually had the concept for the video, video before we'd finished the track. And it's the same with telephone banking actually, we'd kind of started filming the video before the track was finished. And so the visuals were informing the kind of lyrical content and in some, some cases like the musical content as well. I think the total budget for the telephone banking video was about £300. But that was it really. And then we just kind of got favours, got people to have ferriers around and Grace got all those Japanese kids. Uh, she met them in Harrods, which was quite weird. Um, and we used her at the school that she was teaching at to, as a location. Extraordinary is um, probably one of my favourite songs on the album, especially the, the introduction, which is Jack singing through a kind of vocoder. I wrote this track with uh, Jimmy Napes, an amazing um, musician and writer, 
um, and we've been writing lots of stuff together. Um, he's just like a very talented guy and we kind of connected straight away and just started writing lots of music together. It's kind of got a melancholy undertone but it's also very like kind of happy summery tune. We first heard Shana bass singing when she was 14. She was just singing an Adele song um, near to our studio space in Kilburn and heard her and thought her voice was just incredibly magical. She just seemed to have the kind of perfect tone for that, that track. Yeah, so we had a, a writing session with dancehall legend Stylo G and wrote this track, Come Over. Stylo G is just an incredible um, force of energy and talent. It's a chemistry between Jamaica and UK mainstream. With Clean Bandit, I can say, because Clean Bandit sound is different. No one sounds like Clean Bandit, that's a good thing, so. But you cannot be scared to limit your music just to one genre. And me working with Clean Bandit, it was like different for me. So that we, we wanted to make a kind of 3D version of our logo, because the logo was originally a kind of a blueprint for some string instruments. We wanted to have like a, a diamond cello and a little square violin. And so for the artwork, we thought, how can we actually make a physical version of this blueprint? So we kind of extruded them and built them out of uh, highly reflective metal and, uh, and hung them in the barbican and stood next to them and took some photos. So that's, that's the album artwork. Buy the album, suckers. <laughs>